Hi, welcome back to a story for you. We're going to read another Winnie the Pooh story. I'm going to read another one about our friend Eeyore. <coughs> in which Eeyore has a birthday and gets two presents. Eeyore, the old gray donkey, stood by the side of the stream and looked at himself in the water. Pathetic, he said. That's what it is. Pathetic. He turned and walked slowly down the stream for 20 yards splashed across and slowly walked back to the other side again and then he looked at himself in the water again as i thought he said no better from this side but nobody minds nobody cares pathetic that's what it is there was a crackling noise in the bracken behind him and out came poo Good morning, Eeyore, said Pooh. Good morning, Pooh Bear, said Eeyore gloomily. If it is a good morning, he said, which I doubt, he added. There's Pooh looking at himself in the stream. Why, what's the matter? Nothing, Pooh Bear, nothing. We can't all, and some of us don't. That's all there is to it. Can't all what? said Pooh, rubbing his nose. Gaiety, song and dance. Here we go round the mulberry bush. Oh, said Pooh. He thought for a long time and then asked, What mulberry bush is that? Bon hominy, went on Eeyore gloomily, French word meaning bon hommy. He explained, I'm not complaining, but there it is. Pooh sat down on a large stone and tried to think this out. It sounded like a riddle. And as he was never much good at riddles, being a very, very little brain, he sang com cobblestone pie instead. Cuddlestone, cuddlestone, cuddlestone pie. A fly can't bird and a bird can fly. Ask me a riddle and I reply, cuddlestone, cuddlestone, cuddlestone pie. That was the first verse. When he had finished it, Eeyore didn't actually say that he didn't like it, so Pooh very kindly sang the second verse to him. Coddleston, Coddleston, Coddleston pie. A fish can't whistle and neither can I. Ask me a riddle and I reply. Coddleston, Coddleston, Coddleston pie. Eeyore still said nothing at all, so Pooh hummed the third verse quietly to himself. Coddleston, Coddleston, Coddleston pie. Why does a chicken, I don't know why. Ask me a riddle and I reply. Coddleston, Coddleston, Coddleston pie. That's right, said Eeyore. Sing, umty tiddly umty too. Here we go gathering nuts in May. Enjoy yourself. I am, said Pooh. Here's Pooh sitting on the stone. And then talking to Eeyore. Some can, said Eeyore. Why, what's the matter? Is anything the matter? You seem so sad, Eeyore. Sad? Why should I be sad? It's my birthday, the happiest day of the year. Your birthday? said Pooh in great surprise. Of course it is. Can't you see all the presents I have had? He waved a foot from side to side. Look at the birthday cake, candles and pink sugar. Pooh looked, first to the right, 
then to the left. Presents, said Pooh. Birthday cake, said Pooh. Where? Can't you see them? No, said Pooh. Neither can I, said Eeyore. Joke, he explained. Ha ha. Pooh scratched his head, being a little puzzled by all this. Excuse me. Ah, I think that's better. But is it really your birthday? He asked. It is. Oh, well, many happy returns of the day, Eeyore. And many happy returns to you, Pooh Bear. But, but it isn't my birthday. No, it's mine. But you said many happy returns. Well, why not? You don't always want to be miserable on my birthday, do you? Oh, oh I see, said Pooh. It's bad enough, said Eeyore, almost breaking down, being miserable myself, what with no presents and no cake and no candles and no proper notice taken of me at all. And if everybody else is going to be miserable too, this was too much for Pooh. Stay there, he said, and he called to Eeyore and turned and hurried back as quick as he could to his house, for he felt he must get something for poor Eeyore for a present of some sort, and he could always think of a proper one afterwards. Outside his house, he found Piglet, jumping up and down, trying to reach the knocker. Hello, Piglet, he said. Hello, Pooh, said Piglet. What are you trying to do? I, I was trying to reach the knocker, said Piglet. I just came round. Let me do it for you, said Pooh kindly. So he reached up and knocked at the door. <laughs> I've just seen Eeyore, he began. And poor Eeyore is in a very sad condition because it's his birthday and nobody has taken any notice of him. And he's very gloomy. You know what Eeyore is, and there he was, and what a long time whoever lives here is, is at answering this door, and he knocked again. But Pooh, said Piglet, it's your own house. Oh, said Pooh, so it is, he said. Well, let's go in. And so they went. The first thing Pooh did was to go to the cupboard to see if he had a quite small jar of honey left, and he had, so he took it down. I'm giving this to Eeyore, he explained, as a present. What are you going to give? Couldn't I give it too, said Piglet, from both of us? No, said Pooh, that would not be a good plan. All right, then, I'll give him a balloon. I've got one left from my party. I'll go and get it now, shall I? That, Piglet, is a very good idea. It's just what Eeyore wants to cheer him up. Nobody can be uncheered with a balloon. So off Piglet trotted in the other direction, and Pooh went with his jar of honey. It was a warm day, and he had a long way to go. And he hadn't gone more than halfway when a funny sort of feeling began creeping all over him and it began at the tip of his nose and trickled all the way through him out at the soles of his feet. And it was just as if someone inside him was saying, Now then, Pooh, time for a little something. Dear, dear, said Pooh, I didn't know it was as late as all that. And he sat down and took the top off the jar of honey. Luckily, I brought this with me, he thought. Many a bear going out on a warm day like this would never have thought of bringing something to eat, and he began to eat. Now let me see, he thought, as he took the last lick of the inside of the jar. Where was I going? Ah, yes, Eeyore. He got up slowly. And then, suddenly, he remembered he had eaten Eeyore's birthday present.
poor Pooh. Bother, said Pooh. What shall I do? I must give him something. For a long time he couldn't think of anything. Then he thought, well, it's a very nice pot, even if there's no honey in it. And if I washed it clean and got somebody to write a happy birthday on it, Eeyore could keep things in it which might be useful. So, as he was passing the Hundred Acre Wood, he went inside to call on Owl, who lived there. Good morning, Owl, he said. Good morning, Pooh, said Owl. Many happy returns of Eeyore's birthday, said Pooh. Oh, is that what it is? What are you giving him, Owl? What are you giving him, Pooh? Oh, I'm giving him a useful pot to keep things in, and I wanted to ask you, is that it? said Owl, taking it out of Pooh's paw. Yes, and I wanted to ask you, someone has been keeping honey in it, said Owl. You can keep anything in it, said Pooh earnestly. It's very useful like that. And I wanted to ask you, you ought to write a happy birthday on it. That was what I wanted to ask you, said Pooh, because my spelling is wobbly. And it's good spelling, but it wobbles. And the letters get in the wrong places. Would you write a happy birthday on it for me? It's a nice pot, said Owl, looking at it all round. Couldn't I give it to from both of us? No, said Pooh. That would not be a good plan. Now, I'll just wash it off first, and then you can write on it. Well, he washed the pot out and dried it, while Owl licked the end of his pencil and wondered how to spell birthday. Can you read, Pooh? He asked a little anxiously. There's a notice about knocking and ringing outside my door, which Christopher Robin wrote. Could you read it? Christopher Robin told me what it said, and then I could. Well, I'll tell you what this says, and then you'll be able to read it. So Owl wrote, and this is what he wrote. i show you the picture. All right, there's Owl. And here's what he wrote. It doesn't look like a happy birthday to me. Hippy puppy, besistisad, sadasa, besistisadi. Pooh looked on admiringly. I'm just saying a happy birthday, said Owl carelessly. It's a nice long one, said Pooh, very much impressed by it. Well, actually, of course, I'm saying a very happy birthday with love from Pooh. Naturally, it takes a good deal of pencil to say a thing like that. Oh, I see, said Pooh. While all this was happening, Piglet had gone back to his own house to get Eeyore's balloon. He held it very tightly against himself so that it shouldn't blow away, and he ran as fast as he could to get to Eeyore before Pooh did. He thought that he would like to be the first one to give him a present, just as if he'd thought of it without being told by anyone. And running along and thinking how pleased Eeyore would be, he didn't look where he was going, and put his foot into a rabbit hole and fell down flat on his face. Bang! Piglet lay there, wondering what had happened. At first he thought the whole world had blown up. Then he thought that perhaps only the forest part of it had. And then he thought that perhaps only he had. And he was now alone in the moon or somewhere and would never see Christopher Robin again or anyone else or Pooh or Eeyore. And then he thought, well, even if I'm in the moon, I needn't be face downwards all the time. And so he cautiously got up and looked around him. He was still in the forest. Well, that's funny, he thought. I wonder what that bang was. I couldn't have made such a noise as all that falling down. And where's my balloon? And what's that small piece of damp rag doing? It was the balloon. 
Oh dear, thought Piglet. Oh dear, oh dearie, dearie, dear. Well, it's too late now. I can't go back and I haven't another balloon and perhaps Eeyore doesn't like balloons so very much. So he trotted on rather sadly now and down he came to the side of the stream where Eeyore was and calling out to him, Good morning, Eeyore, shouted Piglet. Good morning, little Piglet, said Eeyore. If it is a good morning, he said, which I doubt, said he. Not that it matters, he said. Many happy returns of the day, said Piglet, having got closer now. Eeyore stopped looking at himself in the stream and just turned to stare at Piglet. Just say that again, he said. Many hap, wait a moment. Balancing on three legs, he began to bring his fourth ear very cautiously up to his ear. I did this yesterday, he explained, and he fell down for the third time. It's quite easy. It's so that I can hear better. There, that's done. Now then, what were you saying? He pushed his ear forward with his hoof. Many happy returns of the day, said Piglet again. Meaning me? Of course, Eeyore. My birthday? Yes. Me having a birthday? Yes, Eeyore. And I've brought you a present. Eeyore took his right hoof down from his right ear, turned round, and with great difficulty put up his left. I must have that in the other ear, he said. Now then. A present, said Piglet very loudly, meaning me again. Yes, my birthday still, of course, Eeyore. Me going on having a real birthday? Yes, Eeyore, and I brought you a balloon. Balloon, said Eeyore. Did you say balloon? One of those big colored things you blow up, gaiety, song and dance, here we are and there we are. Yes, but I'm afraid I'm so very sorry, Eeyore, but when I was running along to bring it to you, I fell down. Dear, dear, how unlucky. You ran too fast, I expect. You didn't hurt yourself, little piglet. No, but I, I, oh, Eeyore, I burst the balloon. There was a very long silence. My balloon said Eeyore at last. Piglet nodded. My birthday balloon. Yes, Eeyore, said Piglet, sniffling a little. H here it is, with, with many happy returns of the day. And he gave Eeyore the small piece of damp rag. Is this it? said Eeyore, a little surprised. Piglet nodded. My present? He nodded again. The balloon? Yes. Thank you, Piglet, said Eeyore. You don't mind me asking, he went on, but what color was this balloon when, when it was a balloon? Red. Red. I just wondered. My favorite color. He murmured, how big was it? About as big as me. I just wondered. About as big as Piglet, he said to himself sadly. My favorite size, well, well. Piglet felt very miserable and didn't know what to say. And he was still opening his mouth to begin something and then decided it wasn't good saying that. And then he heard a shout from the other side of the river and there was Pooh. Many happy returns of the day, called out Pooh, forgetting that he had said it already. Thank you, Pooh. I'm having them, said Eeyore gloomily. I've brought you a little present, said Pooh excitedly. I've had it, said Eeyore. Pooh had now splashed across the stream to Eeyore, and Piglet was sitting a little way off, his head and his paws snuffling to himself. 
It's a useful pot, said Pooh. Here it is, and it's got a very happy birthday with love from Pooh written on it. That's what all that writing is, and it's for putting things in there. When Eeyore saw the pot, he became quite excited. Why, he said, I believe my balloon will just fit into that pot. Oh, no, Eeyore, said Pooh, balloons are much too big to fit into pots. What you do with the balloon is you hold the balloon. Not mine, said Eeyore proudly. Look, Piglet. And as Piglet looked sorrowfully round, Eeyore picked the balloon up with his teeth and placed it carefully in the pot, picked it out and put it on the ground, and then picked it up again and put it carefully back. So it does, said Pooh. It goes in. So it does, said Piglet, and it comes out. Doesn't it, said Eeyore. It goes in and out like anything. I'm very glad, said Pooh happily, that I thought of giving you a useful pot to put things in. And I'm very glad, said Piglet, that I thought of giving you something to put in the useful pot. But Eeyore wasn't listening. He was taking the balloon out and putting it back again as happy as could be. And didn't I give him anything? asked Christopher Robin sadly. He's talking to his dad. Of course you did, I said. You gave him, don't you remember? A little, a little, I gave him a box of paints to paint things with. That was it. Why didn't I give it to him in the morning? We were busy getting ready his party for the cake, or his party, excuse me. You were busy getting his party ready for him. He had a cake with icing and three candles and his name in pink sugar and, yes, I remember, said Christopher Robin. And there's Eeyore with Pooh and Piglet. And this story has a beautiful color picture. Hold on, I'll get it for you. And that's the end. That one is one of my favorites. Thanks for joining me again.